Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you library management system project. In this library management system project based on Java Swing and connected to the MySQL Workbench database. And this library management system project have two modules: administrator module and user module. Administrator module. Administrator can add new users, update users, delete users, add books, manage books, borrow books, return books, and announcements. And user module. register borrow books return books view announcement update account and also delete account now let's run the project here you can see login from first i will create a new user click register here you can see register from and register id automatically provide this system first i will give a name and email address if i insert invalid email address something like that and click on the save button here you can see invalid email address now i provide a valid email address and password if you want to see the password you can click here and display the password phone number and university id master programs and address and click on the save button here you can see account successfully created please wait for administrator approval because if the user create a new account the needs to wait for administrator approval without administrator approval user cannot access this system now i click okay and it's redirect to the login page now i add another user name something like that email address if i insert email address and that email address is already exist this system and that reason user cannot create new account let's see it user now i am using this email address and paste it here and password something like that email and if i click phone number something like that and university id and click save then phone number is too long click and i click on the save button here you can see this email address already exist now i provide a unique email address and click on the save button here you can see account successfully created please wait for administrator approval now click okay now i am login as administrator and click administrator here you can see administrator login form if i provide correct if i provide incorrect password and click click on the login button here you can see incorrect email or password i provide now i provide correct password but verification code provide wrong and click on the login button here you can see verification code did not match now i provide provide verification code and click login button here you can see this is redirect to the dashboard in first case the administrator successfully log in the system automatically redirects the administrator to the dashboard from and here you can see all the statistic information about this project like total users book categories borrow books overdue and here you can see user pending request and here you can see newly created user if i click this row and display a message do you want to approve this user if i click yes then display a message user successfully approved and here you can see this user and announcement and all the user display in this table here administrator can manage all the functionalities manage books administrator can add a new book let's add a new book mm, book name 
UI define and author something like that quantity um, 30 and click on the save button here you can see book added successfully and I click OK here you can see user design book and if I click if I click on the table and save button enables false now I update this quantity 40 and click update book update and click ok here you can see quantity 40 now I delete this book and click on the delete button here you can see all the data about this book will also be deleted if I click ok book deleted here you can see remove UI design book I want to if I want to search a book given book ID like 23 and click search button here you can see 23 and if I click refresh button and this table refresh after that add users now I add a new user like name email address Um, password phone number id and click save button user added successfully here you can see this user if the administrator create new user and that user don't need to administrator approval now i am going to add a another new user dot com and password phone number university id and here you can see phone number one two three already exist if i give this phone number again one two three and click on the save button here you can see this phone already exist i provide valid unique, unique phone number and click click save button you can see user added successfully now our current user 18 if i click ok here you can see our user user is increased here let's move to manage users if i click on the row here all the information display here about this user now let's now i'm change email address and click update user update user data update and click ok here you can see data user email address is updated now i delete this user and click delete uh, borrowing and all other information will also be deleted and click ok now current user 19 and i click ok and here you can see total user number decreased here you can also search user now I, now I give a user id 15 and click on the search button here you can see 15 user id and I click refresh button here you can display all the users borrow books administrator can borrow books with a specific user id let's see our newly created user id 32 if i click this book and third user id 32 and due date 9 and borrow book borrow successfully and click ok let's borrow another book 32 19 another book 32 18 okay now i'm going to add this book again 
32 and date 18 and click on the borrow button here you can see a message user has already borrowed this book user cannot borrow same book again if the user return this book after return this book user can borrow this book without return user cannot borrow this book i click ok return books here you can see three books now i return this book and click return return succeed click ok here you can see return successfully overdue returns all the book will be displayed here if the due date is over if the administrator wants to return an overdue book user will have to pay a fine i select this book and return return succeed another return succeed returns book view here we'll display all the return books in the table and after that overdue books here, here we'll display all overdue return books in the table manage announcement administrator can add announcement update announcement and delete announcement administrator can send announcement by selecting a specific user or all users administrator can send a message by selecting a specific user or all user when the return when the returning deadline is gone and view it means if i provide all that message then and this message display all users if i provide a particular user id only see this message this user and status if the user see this message then status read and if the user not see this message then status unread now i give a message 32 user message welcome and save announcement added successfully here you can see and that's all about the admini administrator functionalities now i click logout button here you can see do you want to log out now if i click yes then it's redirect to the login page now i am login as a user and password one two three verification code one three three six and login and user can borrow books here display all the book categories now i select this book and borrow but if the user borrow books that user return this book within seven days now i borrow book this borrow and book borrowed successfully if i click ok here you can see borrow books one i click another books another books oh no if i click this books and okay this book already borrowed this book user has already borrowed this book now click this book book successfully already borrowed this book advanced java book borrow successfully okay return books now i return this book and return return succeed let's uh, and python due date 8 12 now i change the due date six and click apply okay finish and refresh here you can see this book already gone if the return date is not gone then book display here if the return date is gone then display it overdue overdue returns now i now i return this book and click okay overdue books 
here you can see one book display here now i select this book and return return succeed by click ok here you can see overview zero return books view here we will display all the return books in the table and overview books view here we will display all overview return books view in the table view announcement let's send the announcement this user now i log out administrator password one for admin and three eight login I did 29 and come save announcement edit successfully here you can see now log out com and password 123 verification code 1763 login incorrect password login view announcement here you can see announcement message if i click on the read button here you can see thanks for read the message if okay and my account here you can see all the information about this user user can update all the information except user id now i change the user name and click update account you can see user data updated if i want to delete this account and click on the delete button here you can see display message borrowing and all other information will also be deleted if i click ok then user deleted and if i click ok that's all about the library management system project i hope i have covered everything i will see you in the next video and thanks for watching